Welcome back everyone. In this video, I want to quickly go over what we will be building for the first half of this series. Like I mentioned in the course structure, we are going to start off with a very simple form. Our simple form is just an imaginary form that we need to submit to YouTube. So this simple form, let's call it YouTube form. The form has three fields, name, email, and the YouTube channel name. At the bottom, we will also have a submit button to submit the form. Our goal is to implement three things. First, managing the form state. Second, handling form submission. Third, validation and displaying the error messages. Once we implement these listed topics, we will then see how Formic can further simplify our code. Alright, with this in mind, let's head over to VS Code to add the HTML for this simple form. To get us started, I have already created a project using Create React App. I'm going to open app.js and clear out this header section. Next, I'm going to create a new folder called components. So within the source folder, new folder called components. This folder is where we will be adding all our components. At the moment, we need one component for the YouTube form we just talked about. So within the components folder, new file, let's call it youtubeform.js and within the file, use the snippet rfce to create a function component. Now let's add the HTML or the JSX to be more precise for our YouTube form. Since HTML is not something new, I'm going to quickly copy paste the code and then go over it. So you can see that we have an HTML form indicated by this form tag. Our form has three fields. Each field will have a label and the corresponding input. Our first field is for the user to enter the name. So the label is name. And we set the HTML4 attribute to name as well. This is nothing but the value of the ID attribute for the corresponding input element. On the input, apart from the ID, we also specify type is equal to text and the name attribute. I have decided to keep the ID attribute and the name attribute same, so both of them equal to the string name. That is our first field. Similarly, we have our second field to collect the user's email. Label is email, HTML4 is equal to email, which is the same as the ID attribute and the name again is email. This time though, input type is equal to email. Finally, the third field is for the YouTube channel. The label is channel, HTML4 is equal to channel, which is the same as the ID attribute. The name attribute is the same as the ID attribute, so channel again, and input type is equal to text. After the three form fields, we have a simple button to submit the form data. That pretty much is the HTML we need for our YouTube form. Now generally, I wouldn't bother about CSS. However, we are going to be looking at this form for the next 15 videos at least. So I've decided to add some simple CSS which you can copy paste from the GitHub repo. So in app.css, I'm going to clear out all the styles and then paste in some styles. All right, all we are doing is centering our content and applying some styles to the form label and the form inputs. Now that the HTML and CSS is done, let's see how it looks in the browser. Include the component YouTube form in app.js and then in the terminal, run the command yarn start. If you take a look at the browser, you can see that we have a form with three form fields 
and a submit button. Our YouTube form component is rendering as expected. Right now though, I can type in some text, but there is no involvement of React or Formic with respect to this form. Let's do something about that in the next video.